Hey guys, it's Colin with Marketing Mavens. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to do a quick setup of Parsi. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and log in real quick. Okay, and so the first page that you come to is your dashboard. This shows you everything that's going on inside your Parsi account. But real quick, we're going to go to Email Parsers. And then what we do is we just have you create a mailbox. And the mailbox is where you're going to get all of your notification emails. So I'm just going to call this one Lead Source. All right, and then so when you create a mailbox, it'll also create a parser. Um, and this message that is showing right here says, waiting to receive an email for this email parser from mailbox lead source. Basically what that means is you actually need to get an email from your lead source and forward it to this lead source mailbox in order to get started on your extractions. For the sake of time, I don't wanna go in and put it into an actual lead source. I'm just gonna copy this serialized address and this is the one that you'll send all of your notification emails to. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put in an email that I've already composed uh, just with some simple contact information. Um, click send on that. Clear that out of the way. Um, and then pretty soon you'll get the email for this lead source. But while we wait, let's go ahead and set up filters. Filters are great because they determine what parser parses the data. So what I'm going to do is add a custom filter. I'll say if the subject line contains the words new lead. We'll go ahead and click finish. Okay, great. This means that our email has now hit the lead source mailbox and we can start setting up our extractions. Uh, so what you're gonna do is click on the little gear and click edit. So this brings up the most recent email that's been received by our server. Um, we'll go ahead and start on our extractions. So I'll click add field. We'll name this one first name and then click save. All right, so now, right after this point, it's gonna have you highlight the data that you want extracted. So I'm gonna highlight my name, Colton. Click yes, and then uh, usually if you have more than one email, it'll find another recent email that's in here, and it'll compare it to it and see if it works fine, and uh, looks like it's extracted fine, so we'll go ahead and hit confirm. So now we wanna do another one, we'll do last name. We'll do the same thing as we did before. Highlight Demeyer. Okay, hit confirm. And then cool, so you can view those um, just to see that if it's extracting the proper data. I'm gonna go ahead and set up the rest of these fields um, and then I'll show you how it works inside Infusionsoft. Alright, now that I've configured all my extractions, I'm gonna go ahead and go over to configure actions. So now you have a few options. You can link it to an Infusionsoft account, have it send a text message to yourself notifying you of your new lead, or make a phone call. Uh, right now I'm just gonna link it to my Infusionsoft account. All right, so you're gonna go ahead and click connect to an Infusionsoft account, and usually it'll bring up a little window that you can put in your API key and your app name um, to connect it, but I already have mine connected. So I'm gonna hit save. And then from here, you can map your fields to Infusionsoft fields. I don't really have any for these ones, but we'll just go to contact notes, map that one there. Email, find email address. Same thing with first name and last name. I'm just gonna go ahead and set these up real quick. All right, now that we have that saved, we're gonna wanna go back to the actions page and then change this from off to on so that now the Infusionsoft is connected. Then we'll go back to the email parsers page and change this one to active as well. Now in order to get that contact into Infusionsoft we're going to need to go to the mailbox's inbox. Alright so what we're going to do is we're going to reprocess this email so that it imports the information into Infusionsoft. But before we do that I'm just going to go search my contact record And you'll see that there's nothing in here, nothing under Colton Demeyer. So now we're going to check this box right here and then click process selected emails. Click yes and that should send it through the parser and into Infusionsoft. So I'm going to bring that window up again. Search for my name. Look, there I am. So you see my name, my phone number, and the person notes. 
got all that in there. And that's the basic setup for Parsi. Thanks for watching.